Assalamu alaikum students, you are in the class of copywriting and visualization with Ms. Fatma Hatamanjari. Welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about key points about what is copywriting and what are the different functions of copywriting and how copywriting is different from other types of writing. Let's begin with what copywriting means. Now if a picture is worth thousand words, why did I just have to tell you that using a sentence? Well, just like a picture could be worth thousand words, all right, similarly written material used to persuade a person or a group or raise brand awareness, okay, it could be one simple sentence or a few words together and it can speak volumes. It may have multiple connotations. It may have number of meanings. Right? And that's what copywriting is all about. Well, to be honest, let's compare copywriting with other sorts of writing in order to well understand the difference between any writing and copywriting in specific. Copywriting versus any other sort of writing. So if you, when you look at the screen, you see a Canon's camera, okay? And if you are just writing, you can probably list down all the features of Canon. 16.0 megapixels, 5x optical zoom, and it will give further uh, an entire list of the features and benefits that this particular Canon camera is giving away. On the other hand, you could simply write one line that captures all the benefits, all right? For example, Canon saves your memories not to fade. All right. Now, this particular line, that's the essence of all the list of benefits that you would list down for Canon camera, right? Now, what is all those features doing? It is giving you one basic purpose. It is capturing your precious moments and it won't let those precious memory ever fade because you will have captured it by the Canon camera. So this is the art of copywriting. When an entire list of benefits can be given, you can actually make do with just one line. Now, let's look at this second example here. You see a laptop here, okay? You can write so and so about laptop, an uh, entire list of features about its slim design, its lightweight, and uh, you know how much space it has and how much uh, durable it is and so on and so forth but when we look at it from the copywriting perspective there's just one line ultra slim works for you anywhere right so if you're you focusing the usb of this particular laptop which is the lightweight or its slim design then you just put it in one line and that explains your viewer, your consumer, why this laptop is different from any other or what is the USB of this particular product. Now, why copywriting? Well, a copywriter can make anything sound appealing. Look at the picture in front of you. You see a ball pen. Well, copywriting can make this ball pen sound so good that you're having this hot chocolate fudge brownie, right? It can tell you that it's smooth and it slips down while you write. It actually glides on the paper, just like this brownie would glide down your mouth, right? So it's so soft. You will compare the softness to the delicious brownie, right? And your writing looks so good. It looks as good as the brownie looks in front of you. Right? So this is the art of copywriting. It makes it sound so appealing that you would just want to buy that pen. Now, again, a copywriter can say different ways, similar thing in various ways, which normal writing cannot probably do. Right? So a copywriter says the same thing in many different ways. So you could say it's clear, but you could also say it's transparent. Right. So similarly, look at these couple of examples for copywriting. These are a couple of messages 
of advertisement, right? And this will give you a clear idea of how copywriting is unique. For example, Kenwood Inverter AC campaign, the message says, less perspiration, more smart conversation. It sits so well in the kind of weather that we live in. If you are not comfortable with the proper room temperature, you probably will not enjoy your conversation. Similarly, campaign Zara Zara Khalis, all right? Zara Zara Khalis, it says the message that Sean Salt makes everyone a better human being, all right? The third example that you see in front of you is hashtag May Perfect Tune. Embrace your imperfections and be flaunsome. Now, all these different uh, headlines that you see, it's part of copywriting. And it puts the entire concept beautifully into a few words, which explains you everything that the brand probably wanted to say. The entire message that it wants to convey to its audience. Well, so you write words that will move the reader to take some form of action. And that's the ultimate goal of copywriting. Hopefully you have understood the concept of copywriting and we will learn more ahead. Thank you so much.